Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again. I'm Shannon, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 2015 Ghostbusters annual. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies and milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> <Arr! Arr! laughs> Um, very good story by Eric Burnham and Dan Sch Sconing. I mean, look at this. They, I don't know how well you can see that. You got Peter Venkman from Ghostbusters 2, um, World of the Psychic, Janine, uh, Haley Griffin. Just to show you the extent they went to, uh, Ray, in his Ray's Occult Books type, uh, clothing, you know, it's not a spitting image of the characters, or of the actors anyway, but it's close enough to where it's just, it's astonishing. It's almost like we're getting the animated series that we didn't get in the 90s. With, uh, with the real Ghostbusters, um... They had to change the uh, look and appearance of all the Ghostbusters so that they didn't have to pay the uh, likeness rights and all that. Whereas with the way Dan Schoening is doing the art on this, on these guys, it's, you don't have the likeness issues, but it's not so far off to where they just look like completely different characters. In this annual, you have the Ghostbusters against the Sandman. Uh, this isn't the Sandman that we all grew up with stories on where he'd bring people dreams and all that. This is a Sandman where people who try to fight sleep, who try to stay awake, he comes in, he puts them to sleep, and then he steals their eyes and feeds them to his children. Uh, you got the Ghostbusters recovering from... The Ghostbusters get real story arc. This takes place immediately after Ghostbusters gets real. They're working on repairing the firehouse. It's officially become more trouble than it's worth. A police detective who comes to the uh, Ghostbusters for help because of these people waking up with their eyes completely gone, skin healed over them or whatever, and they end up finding the Sandman. They are all taken into the dream world where at first they don't realize they're in a dream. Ray kind of puts two and two together when he discovers kind of a deja vu type thing. And then he goes to Peter. Well, first, before he goes to Peter, he comes across someone who looks like one of the Blues Brothers. <laughs> You know, I'm not a huge Blues Brothers fan. I think Dan Aykroyd's character was Elwood, and I forget I forget the other one. Um, but it's it's really great. The bickering back and forth between the two. He's kind of like Ray's spirit guide, and in order to um, go between dreams, kicks Ray out of window. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we pick up with Peter at Dana Barrett's apartment. And this is when uh, she's possessed by the gatekeeper. And word for word, it it goes, uh, I just whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine. She's going to take a little nap now. She says she's the gatekeeper. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> It makes sense to me. <laughs> and Peter looks over and is Ray in, Dana, in Dana's clothing. And he's, Peter's like, Egon, I'm going to have to call it, let you go. I think I accidentally stuck myself with the needle. <laughs> and 
Ray's trying to tell him, no, you didn't stick yourself. This is a dream. We're in a shared hallucination. Here's how you cross over to other dream worlds. And he kicks Venkman out of the window. So anyway, we come to Winston, who's sharing an evening with his, uh, his faceless wife. Um, he knows it's a dream, though. Because he wants... Because it's a recurring dream where it's a rea relaxing evening without having to worry about the Ghostbusters. And it pisses him off when the Ghostbusters show up. It's supposed to be his one night to not have to deal with the paranormal. So then we get to see Egon's dream. And this is what Egon dreams. <laughs> he dreams of math solving equations. And he knows he's in a dream. And he's cracked the code on dreaming. He knows that anything you want in a dream, you just got to think of and it'll magically appear. So anyway, Egon's been staying awake for days on end, trying not to sleep. And the Sandman tracks him down and he's trying to take his eye out. Until the Ghostbusters conjure up their packs and blast them. And they end up waking up, <laughs> floating in midair. <laughs> And then it explains what went down. Who the ghost was and all that. That's just the first story of the annual. Um, now, I haven't really read all the rest. They just look too goofy and cartoony for my taste. Um, they're still based on the same artwork of Dan Sconing. Uh, but they're just kind of... Eh. They're just very cartoonish. I haven't read this one yet, but it looks like the Ghostbusters have to take on that ghost from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> um, and that's just a little short. It's called No Sale, uh, and it starts out with the spirit. He says, and that is the offer, Egon Spengler, in exchange for my freedom. And your soul, I will grant you whatever you desire. Name it. And Egon looks up at him. He says, I, de I desire the total and immediate disincorporation of your form and consciousness at the subatomic level. You wish oblivion on me? Try again. Okay, look down. Look down. I've been bested. No! <laughs> Egon just drops a trap right under him. <laughs> and it looks like there's a story in here of uh, Louis Tully uh, called The Nuclear Option. Get another cartoonish one. A World of the Psychic episode. Um, like I said, I haven't read all the way through this. But these guys do a great job on Ghostbusters. I love, I love the work, especially when Eric Burnham and and Dan Sconing team up. Just the, just the way they write and that Eric writes and Dan draws is just, it's amazing. I've waited a long time for comics like this of the Ghostbusters um, it it's just so surreal they they take it straight from the movies and the cartoons and the video games and just I can't say enough good things about it um, so if you guys have a chance let me go back to the beginning here alright so if you guys have a chance pick up the 2015 Ghostbusters Annual from IDW Publishing. Great work. I promise, I promise you guys won't regret it. If you like the Ghostbusters movie, if you like the real Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the answer to the call Ghostbusters, even if you don't like the answer to the call Ghostbusters and you prefer the originals, go out to your local com comic shop, go on Amazon or Comixology and get you some Ghostbusters comics. Great work. I, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, 
Next, I'm going to be reading, once I finish up with what I'm reading now, I'm going to be reading one of the uh, holiday specials that Dan recommended for me, which involves these Ghostbusters going up against the Boogeyman. Uh, and it's a com original take on the Boogeyman, not like the Boogeyman from the real Ghostbusters, even though that one was good. Because uh, I had tweeted Dan a few days ago and asked him if they were ever going to do a these Ghostbusters uh, going up against the Boogeyman. And he told me that they already had and it was during this holiday special. Um, I know I've already, I've got it on Comixology right now. I haven't transferred it over here yet, I don't think. Let me, but he recommended it to me. So I'm going to read it next. And I hope I enjoyed it as much as I like all the others. Um, I would have probably gone a different route with Boogeyman though. As I mentioned to him, I would probably make the real Ghostbusters Boogeyman be almost like a dark side type character of IDW's multiverse. The same Boogeyman uh, traveling through the multiverse, dealing with the different versions of the Ghostbusters, and just being this ultimate threat. But, you know, they did their own thing, and uh, that's cool too. So I'll probably review, be reviewing that um, in a couple weeks as well. So, um, yeah, check it out, guys. 2015 annual Ghostbusters annual by IDW Publishing. Take care. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.